hey guys welcome back to Ezine's kitchen you're highly welcome so on today's episode we are going to be preparing corn starch and potato starch in the comfort of our kitchen yeah so without wasting much of your time i would like to introduce you guys to our ingredients so let's get started so guys to get started with this recipe i need to soak my corn overnight okay so i'm using one and a half um, packs of white corn yeah please soak your corn overnight yeah soaking it overnight makes it more easier for you to blend so to my bowl i added um the one and a half packs of white corn i introduced water to that and i covered to rest for the whole night yeah So guys, for this recipe, I'm going to be kneading my Irish potatoes for the potato starch, okay? I'm going to be kneading this and also I have my corn here, it has been soaking overnight, so I have to zoom in for you to see that very well. So it's now soft. And ready to blend please don't allow yours to ferment okay if you leave it overnight it's okay so don't let it stay in the water for like two days three days no no that means you're trying to make ogi that is pop <laughs> so guys I'm getting started first with my cornstarch okay we have to complete cornstarch before going over to our potato starch okay to make the potato starch so let's get started first of all i washed my corn okay with a very lukewarm water yeah after washing my corn i introduced that to my blender added some water to help the blending process After blending, I introduced my puree into my glass bowl and I repeated this process for all the for the rest of the corn I have there. Yeah. Yes, I am done blending. Yeah, I am done blending. So next step is to sift my puree, my corn puree. So guys, I tied my chiffon um, cloth round my bowl okay very very tight to avoid any leakage or something like that so you can use this um sift the one i showed right now the iron one if you wish to but i don't see the need yeah i i prefer this one this chiffon clothes okay when i use this chiffon clothes i'm gonna get a very fine texture at the end of the whole thing when i'm done sifting i'm gonna set the bowl aside yeah i'm gonna remove the chiffon cloth and set the bowl aside to settle yeah guys over here i am done with the sifting okay i'm done with the cornstarch so next i'm going to be going over to my potato starch to sift my potato starch okay this is the um the shaft we got from the cornstarch So guys, I am done peeling the anyway, I'm done peeling the potatoes, okay? You can either grate your potatoes like this. You can either grate it like this or you blend it, okay? So for me, I'm going to be blending mine. Why? Because I want to get all the starch out. 
yes you can get your starch out if you use this um if you use this method yeah but i really want to get everything out so i'm not going to be grating i'm going to be blending so i'm going to cut that into little chunks to help the blending process okay so see you soon <laughs> so guys i am done cutting that into um tiny cubes okay yeah so it's time for me to blend So I'm going to introduce my water, oh, just this much. So I am done blending this one, okay? So I'm going to transfer that here. So I'm going to repeat this process for the rest of what I have here. So guys, I am done blending. Okay, so it's now time for me to sift okay so again i'm going to use in my chiffon cloth i'm going to tie that around i'm going to start sieving okay So I'm going to repeat this process for everything I have here. Yeah, so I'll see you when I'm done. <laughs> so I am done sifting. Yup. Guys, this is it. So I'm going to squeeze the whole water out. Yeah. So guys, I'm going to leave this to settle as well. At the end of the day, we are getting the white starch. It's not going to be brown anymore. We are getting white starch underneath, okay? So I'm going to leave that to settle as well. Remember, our cornstarch is still settling. <laughs> so, see you soon, okay? So guys, here I have um, the cornstarch, okay? As, as you can see, we have the starch settling here. This is the starch and this is the water, okay? So I'm going to be decanting this right now for you to see what I'm talking about. Yeah, so after that, we have to still let it to continue settling, okay? The residue I'm seeing here is not um, what I wanna have. So I'm going to decant it now and leave it to continue settling. Yes. So I have to gently decant the water. Yeah. Did you see that? Did you see that? So guys, I decided to um, to introduce this into my muslin bag, okay? So it can fasten the process. So I'm going to introduce that here. Did you see that? Yeah. It's even going to make it more dried, yeah? So it's going to really eliminate the whole water we have there. So, but if you don't have a muslin bag, you can just leave it there on the bowl. Okay. They are the same thing, just that this one is going to be faster. And at the end of the day, I'm going to get a very, a very stiff cornstarch. It's dried already, as in no need of even waiting again. Did you see that? See? 
it's dried it's now very hard did you see that next step is the drying process we are going to start drying that but first of all i have to wait for this to finish the, the, the settling yeah the settling process so i have to be drying the both of them together okay so we don't have to be in a rush <laughs> so i'm going to transfer that did you see so beautiful so i'm going to transfer that here okay So the last step here is the drying process. I'm going to be drying this, but I have to be doing it together with this one. So see you later. So guys, I want to decant this water now. Okay, that's the potato starch. Yeah, so I don't know if it's it will be so difficult for you to see this, the residue. But if you can see very well, I have the residues in here. This line here. I don't know if you can see that this is the potato residue okay so I'm going to be pouring this water away yeah did you see that it's crystal white <laughs> you can't see anything here you can't see nothing so this is what we got this is our potato starch yeah but when you compare the potato starch and the corn starch there is no difference they both have this crystal white color it's now time to dry When I put this in here, it's going to fall off. The, the, it has holes. So I'm going to be lining my um, baking paper on it, yeah? So this is what I've got. I'm going to line them here. Yeah, I'm going to just scatter everything for it to dry easily. If you live in Nigeria, you can place this under the sun. Okay? Here in Germany, we are in winter. This is October. We are in winter already, so I don't have much sun outside. The weather has become so cold. So for that reason, I'm going to be using my dehydrator. This is my potato starch. And we'll have to place that aside. So I'm going to close that now and add another one. that here and put the side the third batch yeah so guys I am done with the cornstarch so here we have um three steps let me reduce that for you to see what I'm talking about oh hold on yeah so I have so I have three steps in here yeah one two three so i'm going to continue with the potato starch next we are starting with our potato starch so i have some brown um brownish water there so i'm going to use my clean paper towel to pat that dry okay and that's it so i have to close that now close this one and put this here 
Next, I'm going to. Did you see that? Is it? It's already dried, Seth. It's dried, but we still have to dry that very well to get that powder form. Okay. I'm going to be placing that here. This is our potato starch. So when it's done drying, we'll go into another stage till everything converts to powder. I'm done. I have to cover that up right now. Let's cover that up. So because I can't um differentiate between the white of the corn and the potato starch they are both white i have to be placing this this thing here so i have my potato starch written here and also my corn starch so i have my corn starch written here and my potato starch just to identify that easily Guys, it's now time for us to start the drying process, okay? So first of all, I own my dehydrator and I placed it on 70 degrees C to dry for 13 hours. Yes! <laughs> but finally, I ended up drying it for only 5 hours, yeah? Guys, after 5 hours, this is what we've got. So what I have here is my potato starch, right? Yeah. Oh. So I'm going to be blending, okay? So, we are done blending the potato starch. Guys, look at that. Did you see that? This is our potato starch. We are done. I'm going to keep it here for now, yeah? <laughs> Yay! So guys, next I'm going to be blending the corn starch. I'm going to introduce that in here. Guys, I am done blending this one, okay? I've gotten what I want. So I'll repeat this process for this one here. Okay, so I'll get back to you later. So this is what we got here. These are cornstarch. You can use this to thicken your beef sauce, your curry sauce, and the meat pie filling. And also, you can also use the potato starch. They don't have any smell, no smell at all. Okay, guys, we are done blending. Okay, these are what we got here. So here I have my cornstarch, which I derived from my maize. This pack you're seeing here, yes. <laughs> and over here I have my potato starch, which I derived from this, um, which I extracted from this potato right here. Okay, so. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for staying with me throughout this video. I truly appreciate you. Yeah? Thank you so much and see you guys in my next episode. I love you. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and join the family. Take care. Bye-bye.